I rode my bike to Gibson's! Woo! So this is pretty awesome. It's been basically downhill almost all the way from Gibson's. There's a big hill you gotta climb to get out, but uh, all downhill. I mean, I'm climbing a little bit, but uh, it's got me thinking about yesterday when I was riding from Earl's Cove to Seashell, um, how it was, hell, I thought I was riding uphill all day. Yeah, there were some breaks of downhill, but they all went into uphill, every last one of them. So um, I'm thinking now tomorrow's gonna be pretty easy. Yeah, I'm leveling off and gonna start going down again. You know, and when you're in your car, sometimes things doesn't look like it's a hill, but even a steady grade uphill for an extended period of time is a lot of work. So anything like this, where it's actually downhill slightly, it's just so much easier. You can coast when you stop pedaling. So, hope you guys are enjoying my video. I haven't had a chance to uh, even look at what I, what I have. Uh, trying to save as much battery as I can. So, it's all gonna be new to me when I watch it all over again start editing this down and holy crap I probably have days of editing to do it's gonna be insane anyway gonna head to uh, the independent grocery store they're a Loblaws company I support Loblaws I paid their employees extra during the pandemic they're gonna get my business Remember you if you did these types of things during the pandemic if you helped out your employees I will remember that I reward your I reward your loyalty with my money anyway this is probably all windy as hell I'm really sorry and all these cars are looking at me like what the fuck are you doing your phone out but anyway talk to you in a bit way way quicker coming back it was almost all the way downhill. I like that. But how is this for beauty? Not me, silly. So if you're ever planning on doing this ride, I suggest riding from Gibson's to Powell River. Um, Going the other way is, is harder, for sure. All right, so I stopped at your independent grocer, Seashell, picked up some food, heading back to the campsite. Gonna go chill, prepare myself for tomorrow. All right, so I've made it back to my campsite. Um, Damn, I'm so proud of myself for making it all the way to Gibson's. You have no idea. I probably could have stuck around a little bit longer, but I'm starting to feel a little bit chafy. And I wanted to get back here, get some clean clothes on, have a shower, then get some clean clothes on. And then, uh, you know, stay off the bike for a few hours. But uh, epic, epic. A little disappointed that Molly's Reach was closed because I did look online before I left to check. And it said seven days a week during the summer hours, but uh, I crossed the road to use the uh, the public washroom and there was a sign on the door that says closed during winter hours. So I don't know what the hell's going on in, in Gibson's. Maybe they're on a different uh, time clock than the rest of the world, but um, back at the campsite, this is epic. Absolutely epic. So the only thing I left on my table when I left was a bag of cherry blasters. And this little bugger, he's coming back for them. He likes cherry blasters. Hey, come back here. Come on. You want a cherry blaster here? I know you're not supposed to feed wildlife. There, I want to see you take a cherry blaster. You like those? Go for it. Let's see you eat a cherry blaster. You didn't eat a whole bag of cherry blasters, did you? Seriously? <laughs> Seriously, I'm talking to you. I am. I'm talking to you. Did you eat a whole bag of my cherry blasters?
friendly little guy. You guys want to see my pantry? I'll show you my pantry. Got my stick for a lock. Ooh, look at that. I got some cheese buns from Seashell Independent. I got some Tim Hortons cappuccinos. I got Cliff Bars. I got Jack Link's Original Beef Jerky and Powerade. Powerade. Go buy some today. Not a bad little setup I have going on here.